Hi everyone, my name's Philip and welcome to my channel. It's December 2022 and Bitmain have released a new firmware for their S19 series that adds a new low power mode. Not only does this give lower power, it gives better hashing efficiency by lowering the hash rate a little bit, reduces the heat output and lowers the noise. Let's go and have a look at this update. Bitmain has released a new firmware version in December 2022, which is meant to offer a new low power mode for Antminer S19 Pros. So let's give this one a try. I have a 100 terahash S19 Pro here, and it's reporting it's currently using a June 9th, 22 release of the firmware. I have an APC metered PDU. I've um, put all the devices in standby except for that one S19. So there is a little bit of load being pulled by other devices just in standby mode. So currently I'm pulling 3.47 kilowatts and a total of 14.7 amps. So we'll be looking to see how much these numbers drop by with the new um, firmware. Run my equipment in a grow tent. Currently I have one ASIC running in here and I'll put everything else in standby mode. I've positioned my sound level meter one meter from the grow tent. Now my grow tent is acoustically lined, so it's a lot quieter, but let's just see what it is one meter on normal power mode. So around 68 dB. The grow tent has a temperature probe with it near the top and it's currently reporting 41 degrees Celsius inside of the grow tent. I'm also monitoring my ASIC using Minostat. Um, the hash rate usually floats around 100 terahash a second, sometimes a little bit below 100, sometimes a little bit above, it's slightly above at the moment. And the power consumption usually floats around 3000 watts. Looking at the notes here, there's two firmwares and there's this one here called transition firmware to low power mode. And it says if your S19 Pro Minor firmware version is lower than this one, please upgrade to this one first and then use the firmware above. So this one's 2021. 11 16 and my current firmware is dated 2022 so i won't need to use that transition release so i can go straight to downloading this new one dated the 19th of december and we'll go over to firmware upgrade and we'll ask it to upgrade using that file okay it says the firmware is being upgraded Hopefully this won't take too long. Yeah, that process took maybe two minutes. It's now jumped and said it's now running a version dated uh, December 6th, 2022. Let's look at what operating mode options we've got now. Oops, let's go to settings. No, we just have normal and sleep still. After consulting Reddit, I've managed to get the low power mode working. I found some talk about cookies um, existing from the previous version in the browser that might prevent it from working, and there was a number of tips. I tried Chrome, which is what I normally use in incognito mode, and I, after entering my username and password, the AntMiner dashboard wouldn't even display. I tried uh, Edge, and, and it's in private mode. Same problem, I could log in, but it wouldn't even display the dashboard. Uh, I then tried Firefox, Firefox worked perfectly and I could see the low power mode. I then went back to normal Chrome, uh, not in incognito mode, and it is also now working perfectly. So uh, if you have the low power mode not display, you could try some of those things. You could try just clearing all your cookies. So let's flick into low power mode and see how some of those num numbers change. After changing the mode, it took about five minutes before the miner started working. Initially, it had uh, errors here for the real-time hash rate. Uh, I've left it running for another, at least another 15 minutes. Now, the miner is floating around uh, 78, uh, just under 80 tera hash now. Uh, another thing I didn't show before, but the fans were running all around 6,000 RPM and they've now dropped to uh, just under 4,000 RPM. Power consumption has dropped from 14.7 amps all the way down to about 9.6 amps. That's about a 5.1 amp saving, or uh, just a shade over 1,200 watts of less power being used. The sound level meter was reporting about 68 dB before. Let's see what it drops to now. Okay, it's kind of floating around 60 dB for about an 8 dB saving. The temperature in the grow tent was 41 degrees Celsius before. Now it's dropped to 35 degrees Celsius, so about a 6 degrees Celsius drop. Minor stat is currently showing 78.8 uh, terahash. Uh, this number has been floating sort of between, mostly it's floating between 79 and uh, 80 terahash. It's just slightly down at the moment. 
and it's reporting 2330 watts of power used here now. This new December 2022 firmware is a game changer. The reduction in power consumption is so great I could run a second one of these ASICs off my existing 32 amp circuit. The total hash rate will actually be higher, power consumption will be lower, the efficiency will be better, the sound output is much quieter which for home mining is great and it produces a lot less heat. There's just really no downside so if you are thinking about using this firmware on your S19 Pro I would um, go and grab it and do it. There's just no downside. Thanks for watching. I'll leave a few more videos around my head or some other things that you might find of interest.